big day today for the GridServe Electric Freightway program funded by DFT and Innovate UK because this is one of the first two sites that we have in construction for the first public EHTV sites in the UK. We're here today at Exeter and we've got Bulldock as well in construction at the moment with a further five sites coming to fruition uh, throughout the next six months. I think the public sites have taken longer to come online because there's just a lot more complexity in what we have to do, the planning and the grid connections, uh, the design architecture, the sweat path analysis. We had a a long list of potential sites when we started the project, over 200 locations that GridServe could have entertained, but that number very quickly got down to a single digit number on the basis of grid connection and the time frame available, the practicality of the site and all the other complexities that, that go with building such a, a big hub like this. The vehicles came first really, then the depots and now it's great to see the public sites coming to fruition. We're learning things as we go and, and I've already been educated today on some of the, the tree F curbs and the bollards and the positioning of our charges and the layout of the site which hopefully all of these things that we're learning today will help to continue improve um, as we build out more sites over the next year or so. So this will open before Christmas with four charging bays, uh, nine chargers, uh, but we've got the potential to increase the size of it as the demand requires it. Future proofing is a big thing. We're putting extra ducts in so we can enhance the power charger unit. We're thinking about wagons that are getting longer. We need to make sure that anything that's in the ground is there for the next phase and development onwards. The Freightway is, is our backbone for deliveries throughout the whole of the UK and Europe. We've always got to keep the wagons rolling. There is no universal connection for trucks at the moment, nor will there be for any time in the future. We do have an MCS megawatt charging standard, which will determine a charging socket on the left uh, side of the truck. But for the time being, the CCS connector, the one we're all familiar with, could be on either side. So we have to create and design infrastructure that supports both sides of the truck to make sure that everyone can charge when they need to. And we're hoping that this site and Bulldock will be ready by the end of the year. And then we're looking to get the further five sites at least uh, through uh, the beginning of Q1, Q2 next year. There is an element of build and they will come, but the demand is clearly there. So we're hoping we're getting the timing right so that we've got the infrastructure to support the vehicles uh, as this part of the sector really starts to grow. And it'll be a proud day when we first see that truck plugged in and, and charging. Thank you.